Yeah, hello scrappers. YouTube, welcome back to the Okie Scrapper channel. Well, I got this uh, lawnmower here, so thought I'd go ahead and scrap it out. So the first thing I want to do, as you know, I take the motors. Let's move this camera where you can see what I'm doing. Let me get my, grab my phone where I can look and make sure it's on the screen. Not like working and you guys can't see what's going on. Okay, so I got the blade off. I'll set it over here. Now what I want to do, get up under here to the drain plug. Okay, that's loose. I don't, that's about all I want to do right now, just get it loose. trying to use my phone for a monitor make sure everything stays in the shot I got this tape little table frame here I'm gonna drag out here into the middle I don't know if this is gonna be in the shot or not probably will Pick this mower frame up. Okay, now around over here behind me, a drain pan. Put that underneath. Now let me see if I can get under there now and. You can't see what I'm doing because I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just reaching up under. And this drain is way here to the left. So I move the pan to the left. And I got the plug pulled. Plug is pulled and as you can see there's no oil coming out. Okay. Let's check this plug. Magnet stick, so we can uh, throw it down there. I don't know if we can get that out with a crescent. Get the spark plug out. You can see while that was draining, I'd take care of all this other stuff, but you know what? That plug looks new. There's nothing burn on it. Hey, stick that up there and hang on to that for just a little bit. Okay, let me uh, get my bits here. We'll get some of this stuff off the top of this and uh, put that Phillips bit over there on the magnet so I don't lose it. Yeah, I think that'll fit. Grab a box knife. 
I should probably put my gloves on. Probably be a good idea. Let me cut this real fast. Get that out of the way. Usually this gets in the way of getting the gas tank off. So we get that out of the way. And I'll just toss that in the tin bucket over there. And there's probably something up under here that holds it on. Yeah, maybe not. Fuel line. Now the reason I pulled the spark plug is a lot of times you can get the heads off and that'll be uh, clean aluminum. Okay, that's one that fits that. What is that? Uh, three eighths. That's what I thought. Probably need to get these handlebars out of the yeah, handle out of the way. And they want to try to clean some of that stuff off and get the motor off of there and then uh, Okay, there's some tin yeah, What size is that? Got it first time, wow. What size was that? Three quarter. Now, let's see. Big hammer. I was to take these flywheels off. Because all you have to do is knock this pin out right here, and that counterweight comes out, knock these two pins out right here, the magnet comes out. Then you got clean aluminum. do that real quick let me move this phone stick it up here where I can kind of see what's going on oh where's my punch there it is probably don't need a punch quite that big now looking at it should be right about there I might uh, use this punch to start with. And actually, I can probably just knock the magnet out. Or knock the counter counterweight out. There's the counterweight and the pin. I just use this uh, small punch here. It just went right through the back there. You can see it knock that out pretty as you please. And now we got these two wedges. 
So we can either go here and just knock the wedge itself, which I think that I'm going to see if I can't come in here at an angle. Yeah, it looks like it's moving. It's cracking the magnet. So let's go with this other one now. Knock it on out of there. Okay, now we got clean aluminum here. Clean cast. Didn't tear our magnet up too badly. A couple chips there. See if we can pick up this. Yeah, not quite strong enough to pick it. Yeah, we go that way. Yeah, it's holding the crescent wrench. A pretty strong little magnet. Stick it up there on the shelf. Okay, back to this motor. So now we got pull this head off. Let me bring my phone back over here so I can see what's going on. Let's get that handle off of there and get that out of the way. Use my side cutters. Pull this pin, pull that little clip. Okay, we got that cable in the way. sure if I can run this impact if I can get in there with the sockets no I can't get in there with those with that impact socket okay let's uh, take a look at one of these let me turn this thing down a little bit more And with seven sixteenths, this one is half inch. And that's what we got. Put that back in there. Okay, I'm gonna flip the drill to one for power. I guess I get me some adapters out of, out here so I can just uh, adapt down to, uh, what do I have one here? Yeah, I got one here. It's, it's 9 16 So, uh, let me just put this adapter on here. And I can put it on the impact. That drill's not powerful enough. Yeah, that one got away.
And now, nice piece of clean, clean cast. So we got a couple nice pieces of clean cast right there. See, somebody had tore into this motor, into the carburetor. Took the sediment bowl off. And I wanna, hey, we are getting a little oil dripping out of there. It's not much. I'm gonna see if I can't get a hold of that with some pliers. Let's see if I can rip that off of there. Yeah. There we go. Got that little float. Okay, now we got it upside down. As you know, I take the motors out there and melt them, so. Well, that's just about it for this video so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel i would appreciate it if you would if you're new to the channel uh like i say i have a, a big pot out back and i got an oil burner a waste oil burner that i uh melt these uh, aluminum motors down with into cupcake ingots and i plan on doing some more remelting into a crucible and uh i've got the crucible right here not real big but it'll hold about three maybe four of those cupcake ingots and i've got a small mold in there which i can probably pour if i get this pretty full i can probably pour about three or four of those molds uh, I probably have to get a couple more. I started, uh, I've got tongs for pouring, but I got to make some for lifting. So I, I kind of started making the tongs. I've got it cut out. I got these two pieces here for, uh, they will kind of wrap around. They go on the end and kind of wrap around. I have to, so I either have to bolt them on or weld them on, then I have to come up so far and twist the handles and then come up here about six inches on the end and fold it over to make a nice, more comfortable handle on it. So, just been kind of slowly working on that. And uh, I hope to put do another melt video. Hopefully I'll have that done and get this crucible, get it seasoned. Got to melt a bunch of borax in it and kind of then get the tongs and kind of move it around with that borax. We'll seal the inside, seal it and season it. So uh, that's what I got there anyway. And as I said, uh, if, if you're not already subscribed, I appreciate it if you would. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell next to that subscribe button if you uh, to see future videos anything else that I, I want to put out a video it'll notify you and uh, then you won't miss any of the exciting fun get oil that little ball on that thing is kind of rusty a little tool maintenance so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, now I just got to take all this tin out, throw it on the trailer, and then take that motor back around back. And throw this over here. Yeah, you tell your friends about my videos if you enjoyed them. My cast by her. Turn that off. Cast barrel starting to get full. I've been doing some work in here. For those that have been kind of watching my shop and stuff, you 
there's Tammy. But I uh, kind of put this wall up here a couple weeks ago, right after that ice storm. I was actually out here working on it when I had no power, using my battery operated tools. I had enough power to run the TV, the freezer, the internet, a few other odds and ends, and uh, had a charger out here to where I could charge the batteries. Got the door hung. I brought some dirt up here today with the tractor. And uh, where I poured that threshold, kind of built the dirt up to the thre threshold. So, a little update there. But I'm going to get off here. This is already in the 21st minute. So, uh, you guys enjoy. Happy scrapping. And if you've got good weather, enjoy it while you can. Winter's going to be here shortly. Bye-bye.